Welcome to 31st video of calculus using MATLAB. My name is Milan Shah and today I am gonna teach you the inverse Fourier transform using MATLAB. So it is same as the inverse Laplace transform just change in the function which is I Fourier and the function here. So let's just define some symbolic variable like x and type some function like uh, suppose minus 2 into exponential of minus absolute of x this is very difficult to write this type of function but who cares just run it see here the answer minus 2 upon pi into t square plus 1 so you can do this type of example on your own at home at school at college everywhere so that's it do like share subscribe comment below and thanks for watching